All right, so we are at the Starbucks somewhere in Illinois. And uh, recap from last night. So, sorry, I'm trying to wake up. We got our Starbucks snack pack, some coffee on the way, I'm trying to refuel. Uh, we won the heat by like six tenths of a second, a lap. We, we took them to Gapplebee's. And feature time, we just went wrong on tire pressure. Went up too high, I think. And uh, cart just got too tight. Passing points deal. I had to start second row and chase the leader down. We just were rubber racing, basically. Had about three or four restarts and then just couldn't couldn't get him to slip up. So we, we ran second last night. So tonight we're gonna, we're going to try to adjust some stuff on our tires and stagger and try to get the car to rotate better as the night goes on. So we'll see, uh, we'll see where that takes us. Thousand to win tonight. This will be the last of our cart racing for the year. So we're gonna refuel on Starbucks here and head over to the center and get things dialed in. Going. All right, it's day two of the uh, Illinois Indoor Winter Nationals. Uh, rolling up to the mini Magic Mile, as they would call it here, indoor where they race Power Eye, Midgets, uh, Extreme Series Midgets, Outlaw Carts, uh, Flat Track, all kinds of cool stuff in here. So excited to be back rolling up here. Hoping we can collect us a thousand dollar check for today to pay our way to this event. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hoping the track frees up a little bit. Hoping we get a little better luck on some passing points. And um, yeah, stay tuned here. See what happens. Should be a pretty exciting day. And stack coming down the back stretch, getting ready to be coming out of turn number four. Here we go. Kyle Stephens out in front quickly. Tries Roden to in that second spot. In third is Brody Bridgman. Andrade Timmerman in fourth right now. Andrade in that 44 machine, looking to put the pressure on. 14. Oh, oh, hang on. Caution oh, coming. Kyle Stephens out in front. Price Roden. And then the 14 of Roden Bridge. But Kyle Stephens got a great lead on this pass. Andriana Timmerman continuing to look to try to drive pressure on the 14 of Brody Bridgman. No white flags in the air. Next lap around, we'll see the second flag. Oh, down in turn. The second flag drops. 
A checkered flag drops for Kyle Steffens. Trice Roden in the 27, finishing in second. And in third, driving the number 44. Tires were getting ate up by the track all weekend, so we were resorting to the grinder to try to fix it. But this is all we had and had to make it work. Yeah. Brutal. All right, we are getting these cars lined up. And we're going to be ready to go shortly. All right, we are ready to go racing. Very read out in. Only has one bar. All right. We are ready to go racing. Very read out in front. Now Kyle Stephens, he's going for it too. Follows right behind him. Andriana Kickerman. Andriana's taking over that third spot. Now Rodney Greenwall back in fourth has to deal with Shane Garrison. Shane Garrison is right behind him running in fifth. Then it is Trice Rope running in six. Oh, going around. Your top five is Harry Reed, followed by, well, to the infield as well. But your top five, Harry Reed and that double O, Kyle Steffens running in the 8S. In the 44, that's Andriana Timmerman. And right behind her is Shane Garrison and Brody Bridgman in five, fifth.
Kyle Tevin trying to pull up. Him giving some pressure. So at this point, we're just rolling along P2, making ground as good as we can. Terry Reed's pretty much got the speed or the pace, and I really can't do anything to pass. So at this point, I'm like, well, we came here to run second, which is a total bummer. But hats off to Terry Reed and team. They did a great job. Uh, great job to everybody with the DeCoin facility. It was a ton of fun, and I sure hope we can do this next year. It would be so nice to have a track like this to run on three or four times in a winter. The green flag flying. We're going to see the white as they come out of turn number four. And the checker flag flies. For Harry Reid. All right, quick rundown on the weekend. Uh, Friday night, uh, won our heat by a mile. We called it, took them to Gapplebee's. And then um, Saturday, won our heat by a mile, took them to Gapplebee's again. And then uh, it was all passing point set up, so we started fourth, got to second, and same scenario. Uh, Terry Reed, um, great, great wing cart racer out here in the Midwest. It, track took rubber and I got to his bumper, but you know, good, good dude and, and, uh, and good racer. And, uh, I'm going to race with sportsmanship and, and, uh, put a bumper on him, but just couldn't get around him. So it was a great weekend. We had a lot of fun. Um, got a ton of content. Uh, I got to thank SKE, uh, BMB motors, performance plus global, uh, Austin, England, uh, Emily, everybody that supports me and comes with me. Uh, to these races it's really hard work and a lot of fun so that pretty much concludes our winter series racing now it's turned on to summer we're going silver crown practicing next weekend uh, so there should be some footage for that as well so stay tuned please like subscribe um, keep clicking that bell on the channel i'm going to keep providing as much content as i can for everybody so thanks a bunch i am out